seriously? <laughs> that wasn't on there very well. Welcome to the channel, people. If you're new here, I'm Brandy, and today is the last video, the last style in the Makeup Reme series, and I'm so thrilled my friend Kimo is helping me bring this series to an end with some colorful inspirations. I thrifted this amazing desk for just $30. Yes, okay, okay, it has some wear and some stains. I don't know what that is. <laughs> some definite dings and... I don't know it looks like somebody rubbed its body or booty on the top and you know maybe kicked the bottom a little bit there's there's some damage people but overall look at the inside of this drawer I mean they're all this pristine really good condition I was super happy about it and to start we're gonna take our crud cutter that's right i got it right this week people crud crud cutter and we are going to clean this baby off honestly i was pretty shocked at how not dirty it even was i mean yeah the towel had a little bit of stuff on it but overall like clean the whole piece compared to what i'm used to but of course of course seriously <laughs> that wasn't on there very well how I got this piece loaded into my car and into the patio, I I cannot believe that that knob did not fall off beforehand. It's a miracle. And I'm kind of happy about it because I want to use this hardware. But before I get to that, I do take just a plain warm water and go over the piece after cleaning it with a card cutter to get any of this stuff off of there so there's no extra residue. And then I'm going to remove the hardware. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, why didn't you take that off first, Brandy? Well, listen. You clean your piece how you want to clean your piece. This is how I'm doing it. Once I get the stuff off, I then, you know, give it a little dip. You know, we dip it a little bit, clean off the hardware a little bit more. I just think it's easier to just kind of rub it down with the crud cutter in the process while I'm going along. And then I give it a dip. It's just, you know, it's how I'm rolling with it, people. You do remember that this is the colorful week, right? In case you're like, why are you doing purple? It's purple. And it's me. Come on. You clicked on my video. Okay, purple. We're doing purple. But before we do, let's talk about my co-host Chemo this week from Chemo Craft. If you're not familiar with this channel, I'll have it linked below for you. I was so thrilled when he agreed to do this week with me. I am such a fan of his channel and the vibrance and creativity that he brings to his DIYs. I also love his thrifts that he does. Actually, funny story. One day I was scrolling on Instagram and he posted this gem right here <laughs> without reading reading the caption I'm like wow chemo's getting a little wild with his DIY stock people you know what this looks like right <laughs> giant piece of duty <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm holding on to that forever because it was hilarious. Once I read the caption, I realized it was something he's seen while he was out thrifting, but it's it's still funny to me. Anyhow, back to my purple spray paint. Once I spray painted these, I let them dry and decided to move on to the desk. That's right, it's upside down. I like to try and start most projects upside down. I taped the top off because I'm going to sand that afterwards, and we're going to start using both of these. I'm going to do the primer first and then well I'm gonna do the bullseye first just to, for the stain blocker and then we're gonna put the primer on and then I'm going to apply this chalk paint I know you're like Brandy that's a lot of layers it's how I did it and I love the finish okay I do not trust certain things without putting a stain blocker on them because it causes me more work at the end of the day and nobody wants to go back over a project no one wants to do it mm -mm. Now I'm not sure how many of you like watching spray paint, so just for those of you like me that find it very satisfying, I do film a certain amount of it, and then I do exclude a certain amount of it. So I try to give y'all a little bit of what you enjoy. You know, some spray paint, I could watch spray paint, I could watch this all day, but I'm not gonna do that to you. So this is flipped right side up after I let it dry, and then I'm gonna go over it with the first two spray paints you've seen first and then the third 
one last. The chalk paint I'm doing just one coat upside, right upside. And then I took, once I finished all that again, I tried to omit some of the spray paint. I took a clear mat and went over the entire piece. I know you're like, Brandy, Rust-Oleum, now Dixie Belle. This is, listen, I don't discriminate against what works. And I love Dixie Belle's Boss when I'm doing hand painting. It goes on like butter and it is a great stain blocker when you're doing things like this with hand paint. So it also dries really quick and I'm hand painting these drawers. So we're gonna use these two colors from Dixie Belle and I'm gonna be blending them. Now I have only done certain blends. I am not a professional. And as you can see, this paint is so thick. If you're not familiar with Dixie Belle paint, it is super, super thick. So have your spray bottles ready and you're gonna be needing extra brushes. You're gonna need your regular brush. So I have my brush that's dipped in the one color, driftwood and then the other one is dipped in the cotton and then I have my blend brush and I did one full coat which is what you're seeing here and then I let that dry before I went back in but I tried to blend as much as possible while this is my side hustle I do not give like straight up blending tutorials and things like that there I do sell furniture on the side and I do love to share those videos and experiences and what I've done with you but if you're looking for more detailed information there are channels that do that one is Chris Donna I am a huge 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 fan of her and part of this piece is inspired by some of the things I see her create I wanted to do something like that for my daughter that's who this piece is for and this will be in my home another channel is brushed by Brandy um, Katja and I think flip it furniture is another one those are just a couple um, that I watch if you're looking for more detailed information I hope that helps you on your journey once they dried I came back in and went again now some people do not blend on the first go through I feel like it leaves harsh lines and I want to just do a gentle blend to start with and then go back over in the layers and then start spraying and bring in my blend brush and usually Th this is so tedious and and here's the thing if you're gonna do this and mine's not perfect you'll see you know that there are but it's staying in my home I wasn't stressing about it being immaculate I love the way this turned out and if you're going to go about this please keep in mind that when you're blending colors it is a patience game and sometimes you got to walk away from your DIY it could be a craft it could be a piece of furniture whatever it is don't be afraid to walk away from it this is so tedious with the constant you know getting your blend brush making sure it stays clean and then you got to go in and you got to spin it and then you spin it and you dip it and you dry it off and you spray it and it is tedious but at the end of the day it turns out beautiful this is why it's important to listen to the temperature warnings on labels people <laughs> i did not catch these in time before the temperature hit like 94 in my area that day after i sprayed my clear coat so shriveled up like a prune <laughs> it's uh, i have an idea that is going to make this a happy mistake but before we get there, welcome to the unicorn spit part of this video. This is my first time using unicorn spit. I have been dying to use this stuff. I'm super excited. That's right, I said it, super excited. I am excited to use this stuff and share it with you. I use three different techniques to apply this gel. I'm going to share all of that with you and what I think worked best. Also, if you're over here like Brandy, you sand to the top. That's right, I stripped it down. Listen, I used an orbital sander, I used an 80 grit, and then a 220 and a tack cloth, and I got all the stuff off and brought it in the house. There you go. You're all caught up. You didn't miss anything. Now, unicorn spit. There is a lot of information on unicorn spit, different you know videos of doing things I decided we're gonna try different things so I'm going to prep myself and have some mix with some water already so as I go I started with some dots be careful with this because if you let them dots sit too long this stuff is so concentrated that little those little dots already left spots on that wood it was done it was over with there was nothing I could do about it I, I was like woo! thank goodness I layered this because we would have been able to see them dots now I did not like this see this little 
swatchiness that my gloves were making. I did not care for that at all. One of the downsides to using the gloves. I also started using a napkin and the glove and this was the wrong thing to do with going back and forth as well. <laughs> see how I'm leaving the... Because you could see all those lines. Like once I started smooshing in, you could still at the end of the day see where that line was left. So I was like, we're gonna have to try something else because me just sprinkling it on like that and smooshing it with my hand is leaving the lines. So I then started leaving lines and using the sponge and blending and blending and didn't realize that the yellow meant business when I put it on there and was going to start turning everything green. <laughs> it's like, ah! So I was getting frustrated and had a mini baby heart attack and had to step away from it and let it dry. <laughs> Once it dried, I was like, okay, okay, we can deal with this and came back in and started doing tiny spots like this and immediately using the sponge to spread the color and then I was like okay okay we're layering here once you start getting layers it's not leaving the lines like it was just straight up on the wood so I'm like okay let's start blending let's play with this water and brought the sponge in the water now for whatever reason the teal did not blend well with the sponge in the water but the purple went really really well with the sponge in the water the teal did go on amazing with the paintbrush I don't know why the color things mattered but it did I would like to try just a paintbrush with the concentrated gel stain in a future project but now it's time for our last giveaway of the month and it is one of the unicorn gel stains I am using in the video today some rustoleum metallics and some gold leaf sheets for a chance to win this giveaway make sure you write comments in both creators videos for this week and write giveaway after your comments so we know you're participating and get your comments in before may 30th sunday at noon the winner will be announced later that evening now I'm going to use Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Wax to put on just the drawers. Remember, I used the Rust-Oleum Clear Matte on the entire white dresser, and I'm using the wax for the drawers. And then to do the top with the Unicorn Stain, they recommended using a spray oil-based sealer. Now... <laughs> this stuff smells so bad <laughs> oh my god I think I took a couple years off my life but before I sprayed I wanted to show you like after this dried there's like nothing coming off on that towel like very minimal minimal transfer I was pretty impressed with it make sure you are wearing your protective gear spraying this stuff people it is woo it's rough once I was letting all that dry I thought let me come in with my accents and put a little love onto this desk for my daughter Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, people. I'm so sad that this series is over. Let me know in the comments below, did you enjoy Makeover May? Did you get some inspiration out of it? Was it fun not knowing who the creators are? And thank the four of you for going along with your girl with this idea, not knowing who each other were, but you're like, I'm gonna do it anyway, Brandy. We don't care, we just love you. I appreciate all of you. Show the four of them some love, my people. Thank you so much everyone until next time bye